Guys, today we're gonna do a very special review on the DC Club Infinite Signature Collection, and today it's Saint Walker, Texas Ranger. All right, comes in the standard white mailer box. This is the first one for the 2013 line. Yeah, I'm very excited. Even though they haven't really announced the rest of the 23 line, uh, 2013 line, which is kind of odd. Here, buy my product, and I'm not going to tell you what the rest of the figures are. <laughs> Said Maddie. <laughs> so here we got, or here we have. Saint Walker! Texas Ranger. So I get some proper lighting on him. Let's look at his face. Yeah, we can see his face there. I'll take him out of the box. Pretty cool. Nice blue. On the camera it looks light blue, but it's actually dark blue. Comes with a typical lantern, but it's just painted blue. Blue is like a... Nice. Oh look, like, okay. Let me zoom out here. Let me zoom out here. Nice DC logo, the new DC logo they put on there. Right, so I'm gonna peel the back and get all that. And then we have this nice artwork of Saint Walker, which looks nothing like the figure, but it's alright. It's all good. And then we have Saint Walker. Also, y'all, look at that, pretty cool, let's see, yeah, the ring has a blue logo, the blue lantern logo, and let me see if I can read this to you, when, the, when their son began to die, the people of Estonia turned to their priests, Bro D. Walker, Bro D. Walker, I guess. His steadfast hope drew the attention of the Blue Lantern, Power Ring, which saved the planet by turning the dying sun into the bright blue star. Brody was selected by Brody was selected by the Ring as the first member of the Blue Lantern Corps, known as Saint Walker. His, the first Blue Lantern uses the power of hope to create. Constructs that smooth his targets, that soothe his targets. Excuse me. He can also he can also charge Green Lantern rings, and drain Sinestro core rings. So that's pretty cool. That is nice. That's all I know really about him. In the um, cartoon, I saw him in the cartoon. A little bit different. I mean, he's like supercharges the Green Lanterns to give them extra power and all the red guys with the red power wings he completely drains them so I don't know if that's like that in the comic or not so let's open them up and we'll be right back alright here we have Saint Walker Texas Ranger alright there we go nice face sculpt not like the box but pretty cool and then he has the blue lantern ring and it has the blue ring symbol to it so wow good job Mattel on that nice dark blue light blue on the camera dark blue in real life and then the legs nice uniform let's get a side view of him because it's pretty different <laughs> he looks like that guy from Jabba's palace from Return of the Jedi the Jabba's interpreter I can't remember his name right now has that kind of head? Maybe it's maybe they're related somehow. Uh, almost looks like sperm. Like we call him sperm head. Yeah, interesting. One of those double joints, pretty cool. Take a look at the back of him. Back of him, well, that's pretty cute. Good old sperm head here. And the other side of him. His accessories he comes with. He comes with a blue lantern. Just there's no design, like in the artwork. There's no design of the blue lantern. They could have threw that on there if they wanted to, but they just painted the lantern blue. So no biggie. That's all right. 
Um, let's see. At first, I wasn't too much of a fan of getting this guy. But I'm kind of glad I did because seeing him on the cartoon made me like him more. And I must admit, I never read any of the Darkest Night and Brightest Day yet. I, yet, I will, but I haven't read them yet. <laughs> That's on my goal, goal list for this year. Okay, let's talk about his articulation. His head. Huh. His head doesn't turn. It just kind of snaps into place. That's a weird. It doesn't turn at 360. Not if, even if I wanted it to. Uh, that doesn't turn. It looks like it could, but it doesn't. The back of his head has a seam right there, but it doesn't turn. Little baby ab crunch. Oh, look at the baby ab crunch. What is up with that? Alright. Arms do go out. Double um, joint uh, at the elbow. He has a... He's supposed to have a wrist swivel. Yeah, it does go up and down a little bit. Okay, and his legs go out. Got double knee articulation, y'all. And what the heck? His foot is so big that whole articulation joint. It's not even. You can't even turn it. What the hell? So, all right, because of his foot being so large that joint doesn't even work anymore huh. or unless it's or unless it's super tight alright there really is not much more to say about this guy short review I don't know too much about him it's cool to have him you know being a religious type character you know he's kinda like the medic or the priest of the Green Lanterns that's the way I kinda see him I'll definitely have him displayed with my green lanterns up on the top shelf. Yeah, he can kind of hold the lantern a little bit. And here is a size comparison. He is a little bit taller than Kyle Rayner. So that's cool. Like I said, I'll have St. Walker displayed with the rest of my green lanterns on the top shelf. Do I, how would I rate this figure? Good job, Mattel. Needs improvement, Mattel. Or Dog of Valmint. Even though he has some weird ankle articulation, baby ab crunch, there's no loose joints on this guy, so that's a plus for me. So I would have to say, good job, Mattel. Yes, go get him if you're a Green Lantern fan. And um, it's cool to have another Blue Lantern. We had the Flash, and now we have him. So maybe we'll get that big elephant dude, you know, that's a Blue Lantern. That would be kind of cool. Alright guys, uh, so thanks and uh, for my next review, which is 